Hi, I'm Buddy Cook. What I want to talk to you about today is this. This is a wonderful horn that I just recently got, uh, made in 1969 by the Holton Company, uh, which would be just shortly after LeBlanc took them over. Uh, LeBlanc bought out Holton around 1964, so this would be one of the first uh, couple years after that. Uh, this is a Model T401, which was an intermediate level horn that they were producing. Um, this would be the LeBlanc version of the Galaxy that Holton had been making before that. It's a nickel horn instead of being made out of yellow brass. This isn't silver plate. This is, this is uh, made out of nickel. Um, so the serial number on this horn is in the 478 thousands. So that's where it would put it at 1969. Um, some of the features on this, uh, you can see instead of the, the Z-shaped braces like you might see on, on some of the box, um, these are actually uh, straight rods, uh, although they do go at an angle like a Z-brace with, with the um, brackets at the end that hold them in on both of those uh, pearl caps. Um, this horn, uh, you know, we've got the Holton badge here, and, and being this is one of the early years, this is still the, the older uh, circular uh, hunting horn logo on there. Um, now on the third valve slide, uh, this gets kind of interesting that um, you can see that the there, there is little rubber washers there, bumpers for when the slide comes closed, but as they stop, there's this extra extra little thing here that the, the, the ring holder actually goes through to stop it. If you go and look at the original Galaxy, and um, I'll put a link, uh, Jonathan Milam has a nice review of a older Galaxy from prior to LeBlanc taking over and they had uh, the style with the stop rod underneath. So um, this is just kind of an innovative thing uh, to use that rod for your slide stop. Um, i never seen another horn like that. Um, so just something different. Um, and we have the model number stamped on the receiver. You know, almost 50 years old and the valves on this are just remarkably amazing. Um, and these are just gorgeous, um, no issues there. Uh, and we can also see too, you know, it's top sprung, and to catch against something on the the, the ledge on the inside of the valve casing is just this circle here instead of uh, guides like we're used to seeing. And the whole spring compresses; it's on the outside of the valve instead of inside of the valve. So we have a uh, the newer Holton logo on here. Uh, after LeBlanc took them out, that this horn was made in Elkhorn, Wisconsin, in the United States. Um, in this particular one, there's a lot of scratches in the lacquer. Um, there's one spot here on the bell where the lacquer is uh, flaked off about the size of a quarter. But other than that, um, I see one tiny ping up near the bell and really no other signs of any dents or repairs uh, that have been done to it. So this has uh, survived remarkably well. Now this horn came with what I think is the original mouthpiece probably. This is a Holton 7C um, mouthpiece uh, versus say normally we've seen a box 7C. Now the inside of the mouthpiece seems about the same. Um, the throat maybe is a little bit smaller and the cup is about the same depth. Um, some of the angles on the cup shape at the bottom are maybe a little different. That's not really something I can show you, but the major difference I've noticed is along the rim here. Um, there's much more of a curve that's much gentler going in, um, makes it much more comfortable up against your lips, uh, much softer rim, you might say, 
Um, I've tried it out. It, it plays nice, plays beautiful. Um, I'm just not quite used to it, so that's a little bit of a, a change in, in embouchure. Um, but it, but it is a pretty nice nice mouthpiece and a, a different design there than say the Box 7C, which oh, well, it is a nice rounded, comfortable rim. It's something different. The Holton mouthpiece. See how that works. <laughs> This has been the Holton T401 Galaxy, uh, this one from 1969. Hope you enjoyed today's review and hope uh, enjoyed listening to this horn. Um, if you like this video, go ahead, like it, share it, uh, subscribe to the channel. We'll have more videos like this and um, have a wonderful day.